So this is the HyperX Alloy Origins. Not to be confused with the Alloy FPS RGB or the Alloy Elite RGB. Yes, that's a lot of alloys to keep track of. But we first saw this keyboard debut back at Computex this year. And the big deal with this keyboard is the implementation of custom design switches by HyperX. And they're calling it Linear Reds. And I'm actually not surprised because a lot of these gaming companies are coming with their own switch designs. And do keep in mind that some of these companies actually modify existing switch designs from uh, Kale, Gatoron, Omron, and some other companies. HyperX wouldn't mention who's OEMing their switches, but I'll definitely talk about my experience using them a little bit later in the video. But I'm also a little bit confused as to where this keyboard stacks up within the rest of the keyboard lineup from HyperX because it's priced at $110, and that's $30 more expensive than the HyperX Alloy FPS without RGB, but the Alloy FPS with RGB costs the same price. So I'm not sure if they're competing within themselves, but at the same time, you're kind of losing some features from the Alloy FPS on the Alloy Origins, and then you're gaining some. So let me walk you through the complete breakdown of this new keyboard, but first, a quick message from our sponsor. The new Cooler Master Master Mouse 710. Weird name, but damn this thing is good. With an ultra lightweight body at only 53 grams for excellent flick control and aim correction, the ultra weave cable is awesome for wireless like feel, the ambidextrous shape for me personally is super comfortable and I like the shorter body, plus the glide is smooth thanks to white PTFE feet. Enjoy the domination with an excellent optical sensor and despite the funky name, the Cooler Master MM710 is legit. Check it out below. Okay, so the primary difference between the Origins and the FPS RGB is that you now get the new HyperX red switches, but there's also an Aqua Tactile option switch as well, which I think behaves similarly to a Cherry MX blue switch. They've removed the USB charging port on the Alloy Origins, which is a bit odd because with the Alloy FPS, that was a really convenient feature to charge your mobile devices. But what really surprised me the most with this keyboard is the build quality because it is... 